right, so let's go ahead and get it set up. Now, just a couple things. If you don't have like a full kit, like when I bought the desktop kit, any keyboard, any mouse is gonna work. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a hardwire, where we're gonna actually hardwire our Raspberry Pi to our components to a monitor as you see here. If you don't have a monitor, there is a way to do this over your local area network and connecting it to your desktop or your laptop, which we'll do here in the next video. But for now, let's just go through this setup just so you can at least see how this is gonna work. So, as we head back down here and look at our materials, um, it's pretty straightforward in terms of what we're gonna do. The very first thing we need to do is make sure that we have our operating system. The Raspberry Pi uses Raspbian, it's noobs, um, is typically what most people use or other versions. So I'm gonna pull this SD card out. Now, I already have noobs installed onto this SD card. If you haven't done that and you need to do that, please check the video where I talk about how to format a card to be able to run Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna locate the slot here on the Raspberry Pi right here for the SD card, okay? And there's only one way in which it fits, okay? And I'm gonna slide it in, just as you can see here. If I work through this, it doesn't work this way. So I gotta flip it around, and I gotta get in there. Now these are not spring-loaded like the previous version, so if you're used to the spring load, it's not there. Just boom, there it is, okay? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna leave mine out of the case for now just so you can see. But if you have a case and you wanna click it back in, by all means, go for it. The next step that I wanna do with the Raspberry Pi is I'm gonna get my keyboard um, installed. And so this is just a matter of just getting the cables all clicked in. This is like I said, if you have your own keyboard, go for it. Any USB keyboard is going to work. So I'm just going to in this case, the one that comes in the kit has a micro SD on one end. You might already have, it might be just automatically wired or USB to USB. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click that into one of these slots here. Just like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my mouse. Once again, if you have a mouse, great. If you have a Bluetooth mouse, you can plug the Bluetooth piece into the USB just like you would a desktop. All that stuff is just the same. Remember, this is a computer. I know you may not see it that way if it's your first time using it, but it is what it is. It's a, it's a full operational computer. So I got my keyboard and my mouse all ready to go. My next step here is to wire up my Raspberry Pi to my monitor. So my monitor uses an H HDMI cable input in the back. So that's what I'm using here, my HDMI cable and a micro HDMI on this end. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these ports right here for the Raspberry Pi for the micro SD end. I'm gonna plug that in and then I'm gonna connect this to the back of my monitor. Okay, I've got that, now the final step is just power. So the Raspberry Pi 4 uses a USB-C. Previous models did not, so you might have a different adapter if you're using an older model. I'm gonna plug that in, I'm gonna give this thing powered up, and we're gonna find out if I did everything correctly. So the Raspberry Pi 4 has just one USB-C port right off to the side. That's what you're using for power. I'm actually gonna use this. This allows me to turn it on and off. A little adapter, not required by any means. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna plug my monitor in. And we're gonna see the lights. We have power, we have success, it's booting up. It's what these lights are showing us here. And hopefully we will have some action here on our Raspberry Pi.